Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to deploy a Bitscap grid trading bot on the Binance Futures platform. And today I will be configuring and deploying the bot on Bitcoin after this most recent dump of the Bitcoin price. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one crypto trading platform that you basically connect your current exchange accounts to via API keys. So you're not actually sending money to Bitscap. Your funds stay on your exchange and are as secure as they can be being held on an exchange. Now, today we will be configuring and deploying one of their bots, and it is one of their newer bots called the Combo Bot, and that deploys a grid trading bot on Binance Futures platform. Now, if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually get started for $0. They offer a 14-day free trial. I will drop a link in the description down below. If you use my link, you actually get the 14-day free trial using the Pro account, which is the account that I use. Now, after your 14-day trial expires, you can certainly get started for just $19 a month, and that would allow you to deploy two grid trading bots. If you wanted to deploy a few more bots, you could upgrade to the advanced and that would get you five grid trading bots. I personally use the pro account. I typically have somewhere between 10 to 15 grid trading bots deployed at any given time. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to actually configuring and deploying this bot. So before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually works, a grid bot is made up of limit buy and limit sell orders. And those orders make up your grid. The green lines of the grid you see on the screen are your limit buy orders and the red lines are your limit sell orders. And so the way the grid bot operates is when the price action drops, you're buying low. As the price action hits the green limit order lines of the grid and then you're selling at a higher price when the price rebounds it starts to move up and the price action hits the red limit order lines of the grid. So you're buying the dip and selling the rip. And so what that actually looks like as you can see on this particular grid bot the price action dropped down. And the way on the way down, it was buying. Now, if it spikes up at all during this drop, it will sell for some profit. And then once it hit the bottom and rebounded up, it started selling for profit. And again, if there's any pullbacks, it will buy low and sell high. And so that's how a grid bot operates. So what you're looking for is volatility. Well, that volatility looks like this choppy action that we are currently seeing in Bitcoin. After we had that big sell-off, we have since been moving between the low of around 42,000 and we have not been able to breach the 46,000 level. And so this price action would give us a lot of opportunities to buy the dip and sell the rip, buy the dip, sell rips. And right now we are towards the bottom of this current price action. And I prefer to deploy a grid bot when the price action is somewhere between either the middle or towards the bottom of where support is setting up. And in this case, we're closer to the support. So I'm ready to deploy this grid bot as it looks like 42,000 will hold support. And so from the bots tab in Bitscap, I would select my strategy and because I'm deploying a futures grid bot, I need to select the combo bot. And then my exchange that I have connected, I have both Binance and Binance Futures. You actually have to have your Binance Futures API keys connected in order to deploy the bot. And then the pair I'll be trading will be BTC USDT. I will be going long with this bot as I expect the price action to either continue to chop between support and resistance or at some point breach that resistance and move up. And one of the added features that the Bitscap grid bot on futures has is it will actually trail that price action up or down. And so my bot will stay in the action. If the price moves outside of my grid, the grid will just continue to move up with that price action. Next, I need to decide on the initial margin. Now the initial margin is your initial investment and that is the initial amount at risk. And so in this case, I have it maxed out on the slider bar at 50%, which puts me at 229 USDT. 
The next option I need to configure will be my leverage and I can adjust my leverage anywhere between 1x to 10x. I have it maxed out at 10x. I do want to stress that trading with leverage is highly risky and I don't typically recommend new traders utilize leverage. If you do try to stick under 5x in this case for this demo, I'm going with 10x. Now I need to configure my type of margin that I want to use and I have a choice between cross. Now cross margin means that my risk will be spread across my entire holdings of USDT. So not just the initial margin of 229, but I have like just over 500 USDT in this account. That whole amount would be at risk. I prefer isolated. With the isolated option, only my initial margin will be at risk. So that 229 USDT is the maximum amount. If I get liquidated, that would actually be at risk rather than the cross option, which would be my full account balance. So we click confirm for isolated. And now I need to select my lower and my upper price levels. And I typically go off of prior resistance, which we see around 46,000. And I can drag it down or I can just punch in the actual figure. And then for the lower level, I look at support, but I do want to give it some room down below the support level. So I am going to punch in 4409 and see what happens to my grid. And apparently I put one too many zeros on that upper level. There we go. And again, I'm not too worried about this price action breaching the upper level because of the trailing feature that Bitsgap offers. The grid will actually follow the price action up if the price action breaches this 46,000 resistance level. So now I have the lower limit set, which puts the price action just about in the middle of the overall grid. And I still gave the price action some room to maneuver. However, 40,000 breaks on Bitcoin, I actually don't want to be involved in a trade because odds are this price will drop considerably lower. So with that being said, I need to now set a stop loss. So now I can come down to the stop loss option and enable it. And I will set my stop loss at 39,000. And that sets my stop loss just short of 10%. Now, another option is I can set a take profit target and I will set that at, let's say, 60,000. And so if Bitcoin's price is able to reach back up to 60,000, the bot will close at the take profit target of 60,000. Now, I can run a back test. That is a feature as well that Bitsgap offers. And in reality, back test results do not guarantee future results. So I'm actually just really looking at this price action chop here. Another tool available is the ruler tool that TradingView offers. And you can actually draw out from the top of this candle down would be a 9% move. And that's basically the price action we're seeing each time the price bounces off of support and resistance is approximately a 9% bounce for each one of these bounces. That to me is significant enough volatility on Bitcoin. Now I would expect more volatility out of other altcoins, but for Bitcoin, I'll be perfectly happy chopping around and collecting profit on this price action. So to quickly recap, I have my upper limit set at 46,000. My lower limit is set at 4409 and I have a stop loss set in there at 39,000. The Combo bot is the strategy on Binance futures that Bitscap offers. I will be going long this position. I've given the bot 229 USDT in ammo to fight this battle. I am using leverage of 10x isolated margin. My grid spacing is 0.09%. So that is the space between each one of these grids is just about 1%. And I have a total of 15 limit orders that make up my grid. So I have a total of 15 grids. And now I'm pretty much ready to deploy this bot. So we click start and the bot has been deployed. It places a market order for the BTC that will be required to sell if we start hitting these red limit sell order lines. You can see my liquidation price is 39082. 
I would rather have my stop loss above my liquidation price. And so I'm going to raise my stop loss above my liquidation price as that will end up saving me up to 20% of my position rather than being liquidated. And so I just click modify and you'll see my stop loss now is above my liquidation price. So that pretty much just wraps it up. I will be doing an update video in the near future on how this bot is actually performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. Remember, these videos are intended as how to configure, not how to copy my strategies. But with that being said, if you like the video, do me a favor and spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you on the next video. <laughs>